If you're an adventurous couple or a small family that's been looking to kind of dip your toe into the RV waters, maybe come out of the tent, get into something a little bit nicer, I got an entry level rear dining RV that can still sleep five to six people. That's perfect for you. Welcome to the Heartland Pioneer RD210. Sometimes you just gotta get away. And if you're a couple who have been cooped up, you know what I'm talking about. You're adventurous, you like the outdoor lifestyle. You want an RV that is not only gonna allow you to go see America the safest way possible, you want large panoramic windows so that when you get to where you're going outdoors, you get the beauty of seeing it face to face. That's why I like the Heartland Pioneer RD210. What's up, it's Chris Young. Seated in the 2021 RD210, I'm just taking a look around. For 2021, they gave you some upgrades. You got an upgraded kitchen, you got upgraded storage, you get a lot of features that an entry-level RV usually doesn't have. So tip of the hat to Heartland for 2021 doing what they did. I'm seated on the off-camp side jackknife sofa right here on the rear of this rear dining RV. 26 feet long, roughly 4,700 pounds dry. You got a 41-gallon fresh tank and dual 40s for your black and your gray. Um, this one is good to just get out and go. Slideless, but you still have a lot of room to move around, but not a ton. So if you need more space, if you're gonna have more than five people, uh, you're gonna need something different because this is pretty tight. As you can see, this is plush, thicker. They have a new style and new design for 2021 with the furniture. This is almost that uh, microfiberish type of feel. It's, it's, it's not the leather, but it's comfortable. And when you wanna make it a sleeper, just kick it out and boom, you got enough room to probably, you know, spoon two people, but you're surrounded by large panoramic windows, wood shaker style cabinets with the graphite black fixtures, plenty of headroom. I got my speakers for my entertainment center mounted right there. Bob's right under the 13.5 BTU air conditioner with quick cool. You also have a 30,000 BTU furnace. So if you need to stay heated or you need to stay cool, you're going to do a good job with that here. But with this one being the RD210, it's all about the rear dining. This is your reconnection space. Now, sure, I got storage under both sides and we have this beautiful gray plush seating here that also doubles as a sleeper. Uh, it's still pretty comfortable for what it is. But when you're thinking about enjoying those camp cook meals, playing the card games, playing the board games, maybe bring the kids along if they're smaller, this is gonna be that good spot where you can reconnect. Look over to the right, I see the mountains. Look over to the left, I see the beach. Look over behind me, I see the river. Or you see grandma's driveway. Wherever you wanna go, you're able to go when you have your RV. That's what's great about this one. Want some entertainment? Got you covered. TV spot up here, granted, it won't be a big one. Cable connection power, HDMI if you want it right there. There's my IRV Technologies Command Center with HDMI Bluetooth, plus it's dual zone. So if you wanna play the music inside or out, you can. I got my split LED lights. These replaced the push button lights, uh, the mushroom lights that you saw. And I kinda like them. They're bigger, they're brighter. Uh, you can't control both sides, at least I don't think you can. No, it's just off and on. Um, but you get a lot more light. I have seen people too, when they reduce this down, when they do bring the kids, this becomes like a whole sleep area. I've seen them like slide some stuff in between the two so kids don't fall off in between. And now you just got like one big giant bed back here. Can be fun for the kids, but you use your imagination when you're out camping. Cause that's what's great about having your RV. You can do with it whatever you want. More storage space up there. I like the inlay of the dark wood here because that's what they did for 2021. They redesigned everything to brighten the interiors but still give you the dark accents as well as give you the dark furniture so you don't show the wear and tear or the stains as much as possible. Over here on the Master Chef inspired kitchen, I got a redesign as well. Flush mounted graystone microwave, flush mounted three burner cooktop with the grill style grate and glass cover, high output on the front. Got the little push button LED lights there. Got my little 16 incher on my oven right there, my gray stone. Solid wood cabinetry here on the drawers, all the way around on the doors as well. I like how they went on ahead and finished that off so it looks pleasing to the eye. Plenty of storage room for a small little camper too. I like this. Got more 
pantry slash ward storage, whatever you want to call it, because you know it's your RV. Good pantry space here. These shelves don't come out um, unless you get a hacksaw and just want to go to town. But you got storage right there. You got a 10 cubic foot fridge freezer combo right here too that runs on both gas and electric. And for 2021, their sister model had them in last year, but for, for this year, they added the doodle station fridges in here where if you have chalk, you can just make notes or, you know, the kids can have fun with it if it's a rainy day. Another upgrade, solid surface countertops. It's not that, you know, just plastic on top of something. This is a solid surface, allowing us to get an undermounted stainless steel sink that's a split 50-50. Large window right here on the campsite. Frosted glass inlay here on my doors too. I really like that touch. I think that looks good, especially with the dark on light. It kind of gives you the appearance that this wood is lighter than it is because the frosted glass is dark. Solid wood door right here. And as you can see, this is when you're talking about getting tight. Look, this door wasn't shut all the way. So in order to open the bathroom door all the way, you got to make sure those cabinet doors are shut. Plastic bowl that's a high rise here. Got the foot flush on it. Even though there's no slide, I'm not really cramped. Uh, I got good countertop space here. They really did a good job maximizing the space with the counter. I got my vanity sink right here, my GFCI outlet. So if I want to plug in my curling iron, my hair dryer, I can. Mirrored medicine cabinet right there. and got the raised lips on those. Not really a big raised lip there, but down here. So that when you're in transit, you're moving around. Stuff won't fall down on you when you go to open it up. Now here comes my comfort test. I like to get in the shower and kind of show you what it's going to look like. Now I'm six foot two, over 200 pounds. So got the shower tub surrounds, which does a good job of giving me a little bit of splash protection. If I want to come in here and wash off the dogs, maybe wash off the kids. I got the area to do that and I'm right at the ceiling. So six foot two, I'm right there. Corner notches here on my shower. So I'm not really cramped left or right or up or down but I don't have a skylight here to give me additional light. I do have my vent and fan right there, as well as my mushroom light. So if you're a little bit taller than six foot two, it's gonna be a little tight, ain't gonna lie to you. And at the very beginning, I talked about how if you were an adventurous couple, this is one that's good for you, um, mainly because you do not have a separation of space between the master and the rest of the RV. So if you're that couple that needs that privacy or, you know, you got kids who are going to be loud, um, probably not the RV for you. But if you just need to get out and go, your couple, you don't care about that. You got small kids. You still want to hear them while they're sleeping. Good sleeping space is back there. Camp queen bed here. Actually, no, this is this is a full queen. This is 60 by 80. And plenty of storage space underneath the bed right there. Plus, you got cubby notches here beside the bed. I think this was a nice addition because you had the ward storage anyway. And having this in here, and look, you even have like little lights with USB charging on it. So you got the 110 and the USB charging on the light. There's my, oh, sorry, Bobby. You'll see right there, a little USB, plus you got ward storage. Having that there kind of maximized the space that they had. You don't have a slide. So where are you gonna have your nightstand space? Well, you got the extension here. Where am I gonna put my power? You got power inside the cubbies. Nice little touch. You want a TV, TV backers here on the facing wall, as well as your cable connection, your 110, and you are set up for WineGuard uh, or, or Wi-Fi 4G LTE extension. That's just pre-wired. So if you want to stay connected while you're on the road, you got the option to do so if you get the WineGuard service or you know any connection service. I gotta tell you, man, slip resistant, easy to clean flooring, upgraded features like the kitchen. It's a nice little couple's camper right here. So we've seen the inside of the RD210 by the Heartland Pioneer Gang. What do you say we go take a look at the outside? So here we are on the outside, the 2021 Heartland Pioneer RD210. Right away for 2021, if you've seen the previous year Pioneers, you're gonna notice one change right away. This hybrid aluminum profile on the front, it's aerodynamic, it looks good, and plus you don't have that paneling like you have here with the aluminum siding all over the front. Adds a little bit of protection, adds some good aerodynamics, but it also helps with the insulation a little bit. Diamond plated rock guard there, single welded aluminum frame here, twin 20 pound LP tanks. One of the upgrades for 2021, you get the Pioneer Power Pack. So you'll get a powered tongue jack up front and power stabilizer jacks for the front and the rear. Very nice addition right here. 
having that when you're talking about setting up and tearing down makes life so much easier than having to crank out all of your stabilizers. Now, with 2021, they also upgraded the storage. You get the King Kong size storage. So some of the units, you can get up to 57 and a half cubic feet of storage on the Pioneers. That's a ton, but all of them will have the finished off storage with the LED lights in there. And you'll see wider doors, a little bit taller doors, giving you some more space to kind of load stuff in. Beautiful graphics too. I like the blue on gray with the black. A few years ago, they did this, this brown on brown. Oh, nah, dude, that was a no-go in my book. Sealed safety windows all the way around. Large awning with the LED strip underneath. Large grab handle too that doubles as door guard plus solid step over steps leading into the main entry point the top step being a little bit bigger which gives you some more security but is also pet friendly double axle on this one you got the 14 inch rims there that are aluminum nitro filled tires on those dexter easy lube axles you know having that little extra wide berth in there too when you're going down now this one being only 26 feet long roughly 4,700 pounds dry. You won't have a ton of rocking depending on what you're towing with, but having that really helps stabilize the ride. Black tank flush, which is also a nice addition for 2021. Cable connection and power there. So if you want to set up some outside entertainment, you absolutely could. And let's see, Bobby, does this one have an LP quick connect? Yep, sure does. So if you want to do some grilling outside, get your quick connect right there. They also added the tailgate storage system here, which is a fold down tailgate. Let me tell you, when you talk about bringing the coolers or the bikes out with you, this is nice because you don't have to shift them either inside the coach or underneath it. Four by four sewer hose storage there, spare tire mounted on the back. Got backup camera prep as well. Plus you'll notice that arch ceiling with the three inch rubber nozzles on both sides. That's going to help keep the rain and the snow off the top of this RV. Cable connection right here. Sewer outlet connection and my gray tank right there underneath. I got my 30 amp power plug here, external shower with hot and cold, city water connection just above my second termination right there, low point drains, fresh water connection, other side of the pass through storage. And you'll notice that they have the hinge covered. Having that means if it rains and this if rusts, you don't get those white, those red streaks going down the white side. That's just a nice little touch. I think helps the RV last a little bit longer. But the most important part of any of them is going to be this info panel. This is where you come to see how much does this vehicle weigh. For example, gross vehicle weight on this one, 6,900 pounds. Dry weight, you're looking at roughly 4,700 pounds. So that's where you come to Camping World and you come to Gander RV and Outdoors and you ask your specialist, what does that mean? Here's what my vehicle can tow, so is this what's right for me? But if you're an active couple, sure, this one sleeps five to six, and a small family, go for it. But as someone who has kids, if you're an active couple <laughs> and you want to get out and about, see America the safest way possible, this 2021 Harlan Pioneer RD210 is a good option for you to check out. Got good space for a couple of people, slight weight, short, and you can have a lot of fun. Plus, it's got some upgraded features for 2021. But leave me some comments down below and let me know what you like about it, what did you not like about it? Because I love hearing from you. And if you would, please also click like, subscribe, and notify. So the next time we do a video, you're the first one to get it. I'm Chris Young for Camping World and Gander RV and Outdoors. Thank you for spending time with me today. I appreciate it. Hopefully I get to hear from you soon. And until then, come check out a camper, man. They're fun.